Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to merge two columns into one columns using SQL Server or we can say how to concat two columns into one with exiting columns name in SQL Server. So let's see my example. So at here, so my table is scored.dbd table. So this is my table. And here, this is the record inside scored.dbd table. Now here after that, so use select statement. So I have selecting D name and here after let's use plus operator to concatenate here after single code comma single code here after plus and here after log and here oh, let's give the table name as got dot dpt table name now if you execute to this query so at here this is the output I'm getting. So at here the two columns values is concatenated here. So in place of comma you can give a space here. And here have to uh, no column name. It's uh, not looking good. So let's give at here column alias name. Now if you execute here, so see the output. Uh, it's a name. It's the uh, displaying here of the accounting name. So two uh, columns is it's now value combined. It and it now in one columns. So you wanna display all the records. So add here give a star. Now here after let's execute that. Here see oh name. So add here accounting New York. It's combined in there. And here oh, research dollars. So add here it's combined. So if you want you can combine multiple columns. So you have to use plus operator here. And after that you can give oh add here column name. So oh, make sure that to the column or name must be a same data type. So at here see dpt number is the different data types. So integer data type. Okay. So dpt number is the integer data type and your d name and log is the back guy. So if you execute this, so they will, they are getting the error. The error measure is the back to numeric because d name is the at here or oh, back at here or dpt number is the numeric. So make sure uh, that to our data must be same. After that, you can combine multiple columns. And uh, here after this, the one example. Now you can uh, use uh, one more example. So at here, you can use built-in function or concat. And here after concat uh, and give the uh, column name. So at here, uh, giving the column name D name. And here after log. And here after let's give as and here name and here from as called dot dpt table name. Now if you execute this query, see the output. So see at here or uh, the two uh, columns combined and here is the output. Now if you want to uh, see all the columns, so let's uh, give and here a strong and here execute that. So see at here all the column are so displaying with combined column. So at here dname and uh, log values combined. So at here accounting New York gets combined. So you're gonna combine multiple columns. So at here you just give dpt number. Give the column a dpt number. So here after execute that. So see at here it's all combined. So by using concat function you can combine multiple columns no matter or data same or equal same or not to same so you can combine multiple columns by using concat so here dpt number is the integer type here both are a string so this is the second way here so this is the way we can merge two columns two or more columns into one columns in sql server so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you